What's going on guys? It's your boy Joey Shake 72 coming to you guys with a highlight reaction today. Had to re-upload this real quick because my volume, apparently I reconnected my headphones and my volume was really low. So we're going to go over this one more time. Okay, so the undrafted free agent class for the Eagles. Some of the NFL is saying that the Eagles have a top three undrafted class, which I've seen some players that hopefully can get a lot of playing time during preseason show what they have. You could find some diamonds in the rough with some of these guys. Now, one guy I want to talk about right now, we're going to go over the highlight highlights and everything weakness uh the weakness strengths of this player you have Raquan Williams defensive tackle from Michigan State okay a lot of room to improve guys a lot of room to improve okay he has a really good ability to two gap obviously we don't do a three four defense so that's what he was doing at Michigan State now with the Philadelphia Eagles they had him going as a 6th, 7th round pick in the draft. Didn't get drafted there. Okay. But very good against the run from what I'm hearing. Very bad against the pass. But his bull rush is not consistent. He gets skinny in the hole. He can get by people, but not freely. It's only very rare that he got freely from, you know, whether he's going across a guard's face or, or by the, uh, or a center. But... His bull rush, he kind of sits there. I know he's two gapping at the same time, but I think the Eagles just see a lot in him because he could bull rush. And, and I think with more core strength, which he doesn't have, he just needs a little bit more core strength, which he'll build upon going to the NFL when he's working out and everything like that. They'll make sure to beef him up a little bit more. But 6'4", 305 pounds, pretty athletic uh, for his size. Um, sometimes he gets, it looks like he's getting blocked, but he's sitting there waiting, um, and makes really good tackles in the backfield. He makes really good tackles. So I'm excited to see what he could do with the Philadelphia Eagles. Obviously we're pretty loaded at defensive tackle right now, but <clears throat> you never know what you have until he gets on the field. I don't think he's going to be a starter in the NFL. I think he's just going to be a rotational guy. Um, he reminds me of Vinnie Curry a lot. And, and it's funny because I think Vinnie Curry went to Michigan State as well. But uh, reminds me of Vinnie Curry. Like he has, he locks in, bull rushes, you know, doesn't really get by guys too much. But when he does, uh, he makes really good plays. But sometimes his hand placement is bad where, you know, he puts his hands to the outside of an offensive lineman. And, you know, off, he lets the offensive lineman's hands get to the inside of his pads, gets him blocked. Um, you know, double teams. He's really bad against double teams. He sits there. He could take a double team. He doesn't get pushed back too much, guys. Doesn't really get pushed back too much. But his swim move is great. He's got a nice spin move as well. Um, so he's got moves. He's got a nice little skill set. I think he has some really good moves going up to the line. But this is going to be a player that we all just really have to take time on. Don't know if he's going to make the roster, but he's got a really high ceiling. A lot of good things are said about him coming to the Eagles, especially in this defense with Jim Schwartz. And who can you learn from the best with Fletcher Cox, Malik Jackson, Javon Hargrave? Perfect room for him to be around at this time. And like I said, guys, um, I'm going to go over some of his stats right now. Uh, I'm going to go over some of his stats right now just to show you guys what's going on. Um, so pretty much when you look at him, so uh, for 2018, uh, he had third. So he was he started in 13 games, 53 tackles, 10 and a half for loss, two sacks, five pass breakups. OK, so after 2018 oh, before that, he decided to. Um, instead of graduating, he decided to, you know, kind of stay for another year because he just wanted to, they had an underachieving season. You know, he thought, you know, let me stay for another year and help these guys out. Maybe we can win something. So 2019, he racked up 48 tackles, seven and a half uh, tackles for loss, five sacks, two pass breakups. Okay. Third conference. Um, he was a all third team, all conference as a senior uh, in 17, he started 13 games. In 2017, he started 13 games, making 31 tackles, six six uh, tackles for loss, two and a half sacks. Okay, so Williams was the most improved player as a redshirt freshman with 28 tackles, five for loss, two sacks, three starts in 11 games. Okay, um, and, you know, has been through some adversity as well with his personal life. Um, almost gave up on football after his cousin and younger brother were killed in shootings back home. So a lot of personal stuff has happened, but... Um, I can tell that he's a very strong player, you know, with a lot of adversity in his life. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into all that, but um, seems like a, a really good ball player for, for the future. 
Okay, so I've already went over his strengths and weakness. So he's got good strength with his sidestep. He could, you know, he could go skinny, uh, get through the line. His bull rush isn't consistent, but when he, you know, kind of has lock on the offensive lineman, very quick going across the center's face. He's got at times he's explosive. At times he looks really slow. So you're probably going to see some plays where he gets off the line very late. Um, but you know, in, in college, it might work out where he gets a tackle. And if the play is going away from him, he usually he doesn't give up. And then one thing I could say about the one thing I can say about Raquan Williams is that his motor doesn't stop. So you know how some guys that get drafted, they get to the NFL and they you know they get they start you know as a defensive end or a defensive tackle, they lock on and you know they bull rush for a few seconds and then they start to run out of gas. This guy right here does not run out of gas whatsoever. Always moves his feet at the right time. So we're going to go and watch his highlights. It's 11 minutes, but we're not going to go through the whole thing, obviously. Uh, so let's do that right now. And here we go. So he got turned around. Got his hand in there and got the ball. Got the ball out. See, his bull rush at times is good. And he's got long arms, big hands. Quarterback just had no pocket awareness, really. But he got the ball out. Got the ball out. And after that, Williams and Williams combined to ruin the drive for Wisconsin. Get something here on third. Open hole. Little slow getting off the line. You can tell he's a little slow getting off the line at times. But against the run, he can fight to the run. He can fight to get to the run. Beats, yeah, look at that. Beats the beats the guard right across his face. Gets gets a tackle right there. Needs some needs some room to improve, guys. Pursuit, good pursuit, and a nice tackle in the backfield. He's got good pursuit. If the play is going away from him, he's got enough speed to get there and make the tackle. He gets right around the guard, makes the tackle. He's got good hand placement at times. It's just the problem is it's not his hand placement isn't consistent, so he gets locked up sometimes. See. Moving away. Doesn't give up. Nice swim move. That looked really explosive right there. Nice swim move. Get to the quarterback right there. That was good. That was good. Nice bull rush right there. That was a nice bull rush right there. Got in the backfield. You make the tackle. He bull he just he he just got that guy off the line pretty easily. Good pursuit. He stayed in he look, he stayed on the outside shoulder. He stayed on the outside shoulder of the guard, and, and you know the guard never got around him. A lot of missed tackles, but good. Stays on the outside of the guard, doesn't let the guard get around him to do a little scoop block. Or reach block, I should say. Miles Sanders. Oh, man. Now, that offensive, that all, those offensive lines, just, they just stood up. I don't know what. They got beat off the line pretty easily. That was a bad, I don't know what kind of, that guard and tackle did not do anything to him. I don't know. That was an untouch. He got untouched. For, he got like nudged like by a, a, a pinky. Bull rush. Keeps his hands extended. You see he kept his hands extended. He bull rushed. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Kept his hands extended, so he bull rushed, then got his hands extended when he saw the play coming his way, then got off the block, made the tackle. So that was good. That was good. 
That was a good tackle. He didn't get fooled. He could have went straight to the inside. They said he's got bad he's got bad recognition of the backfield, but it seems like he's got good eyes for where the ball is. I don't know why they're saying that, but it seems like he's got good ball good recognition of that backfield, what's going on. Alright, this has gotta be a QB sneak pretty much. If I'm figuring it out, it's gotta be a QB sneak. See, he got off the ball pretty slow, but look, he's keeping his hands extended. He keeps his hands extended. If he if he knows he's not going to get a, a good bull rush, keeps the hands extended, you know, on the block that you know on on a block, and you know makes the tackle. You know, moves this guy away from him to make the tackle. Good good pass rush. It's just not consistent. Just not consistent. It's just consist consistency. Obviously, if you're undrafted. You don't have any consistency, or you don't really start too much, or. You know, you've had some flashes, you know what I mean? That teams want to bring you in and see what you could do. I mean, that's pretty much what an undrafted, when you're undrafted, pretty much beads, obviously. It doesn't mean you're bad, but there's some improvement to be done. It's extension. Look, extension. He's a stump. He, he doesn't get pushed back. Raquan Williams does not get pushed back. It's very rare that that happens. Great. I don't even know if he got blocked on that. If I could see that again. Yeah, he just did a move on him. Just did a move on that guard and it was over. Oh, wow. I think they put him as a defensive end. Because he can move, he can actually play two positions. He's he's very versatile, which a Jim Schwartz guy, very versatile. I think he was playing defensive end at top of the screen. Yeah, he was. They put him at defensive end. Wow. Punched the ball right out, too. Punched the ball right out. Rapon Williams punched it right out. Yeah, they line him as defensive end. Oh, got right through the line. Wow. He's got a big club, man. He clubs people with his arms. That was a bad, yeah. I think he, I think they knew it was a quick pass. That's why they didn't rush. He kind of knocked into the guard and he moved back. So I don't know what he was doing there. Nice. Nice rip move right there. I don't know if that was a swim or a rip. Looked like a rip to me. Got him right in the backfield. Keep, yeah. Keeping his body square. He's going down the line. He's pushing the guard. He's he's keeping him his body square to make the tackle. I mean he's got I mean he's got it. Look, he got held on that play. Every time I see Oregon, it reminds me of ugh, Jesus. Oh, they, they, oh, Raquan Williams just popped the ball out. He was getting tackled already. And Raquan Williams literally just gave him another hit and popped that ball out. All right, I'm done with this. So, <laughs> so the things I've seen from Raquan Williams right now is that it's just consistency, like, he gets off the ball fast at times. He's got explosiveness at times, but at a certain times, he's really slow. And if it looks like he's getting blocked, if he thinks, if he bull rushes and he sees that he is getting blocked and he can't really get past the guard or the center, he extends his arms, waits for the rush, that waits for you know, the runner to come through. I mean, he's he's not bad at two gapping, but we're not going to be doing that, of course, with the 4 3 defense but sits there and waits to make the tackle. And then there are times where he's very explosive, swim move, rip move, pushes a, a guard. You know, he's not pancaking people. Just remember that. He's not putting people on the ground, but he's getting by guys. And, and I don't know, they're saying that he's got bad backfield recognition. Um, I haven't seen all of his games, but from what I've seen here, I mean, he was pretty damn smart, not getting fooled to go to the inside uh, when the run was going to the outside. So 
Let me know what you guys think about Raquan Williams. Um, I think there's a lot to improve here, but to be in the same room as Fletcher Cox and Malik Jackson, Javon Hargrave, it's pretty good company right there. Guys with playoff experience, Super Bowl experience, can teach him the right things. So I really can't complain about that at all. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Raquad Williams coming to the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, obviously, it's a project, but he's got so much upside. It's hard to really turn away. No wonder the, you know, the NFL has the Eagles um, going to, you know, uh, having a, a top three undrafted class with a lot of gems that, you know, hopefully could show up during preseason. So very excited. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, I'll fly.